Welcome back. It's time now for a little trip back in time with Elizabeth Laval, president of the Fresno County Historical Society. Elizabeth joins us every month for a look back at history and a look to the future while we create and preserve history right now. And she joins us today with some exciting news about the future of the Fresno County Historical Society archives. So what was the big uh, the big news in the newsletter this year or the, this month? The big news was we actually purchased what used to be known as the downtown club yes on Kern Street and all this time you know we're almost 105 years old uh -huh. but we've never had a place to show the archives that we collect so what this is going to do we'll still keep Kearney okay Kearney will do all its things that it always does yes but over the next year we'll be retrofitting the restaurant there yeah to be able for the public to come and see what we have in the archives. How come you needed a separate place aside from Kearney Mansion? Yeah, there's just no space yes. to share. You know, we it's a historical building. Uh -huh. We can't really just add on whatever we right. want. And also we wanted it in a location where people could come and do research, they could, see different rotating exhibits. Yes. And one of the coolest things is in the Fresno Downtown Club, uh -huh. there's a big old fashioned printer. Oh, okay, so I, I kept thinking about where you were doing this. So I've actually um, went to a fraternity formal at, yeah, at, at the, the downtown, downtown Club. At the Downtown Club, yes, and I have seen that, uh, that printing press there. So the coolest thing about that is we have the McClatchy collection of okay. all the Fresno B and Fresno Morning Republican that are yes. gonna go in there they were actually printed, printed some of them on that press. Oh, that's very it's cool. It's very cool. Yes. We both were born in 1919. Okay. The building was built. So be, bear with us. We're going to yeah. take a little time, but we have to acclimatize and you right. know, retrofit. And that's, and that's another thing that you know, is hard thing. to do in Kearney Mansion. Yeah, you we can't, can't have do the right that. sort no. of elements there. But finally, the yeah. public is going to be able to see some of the incredible things. Yeah. We'll have an oral history booth okay. permanently so people can book in and tell their stories. Yeah. We're trying to capture it now yes. for the future. Well, you know, I can give you uh, some pictures from those fraternity formal <laughs> yes. at that actual building. I have I have those pictures in there. That's so exciting. I'm so excited for you guys. And then, uh, you know, we're also in the holiday season. We are. Started. So uh, Christmas at Kearney com comes back on the 24th. It does. So the day after Thanksgiving, this year, our theme is uh, Christmas tales okay. or holiday tales. And you are gonna see 14 trees each decorated like a story, a traditional story from very diverse. Yeah. And on the second and third, our Victorian Santa will be out at the mansion and people can go and take as many photos yes. as they like. And then we have members receptions and you can book parties there. There's just, it's really beautiful, the holidays. It is, and it's such a great time to sort of visit Christmases of yesteryear, yes. you know, yeah. and kind of see how how Christmas has evolved and how the holiday season yeah. has sort of evolved in the Central Valley for a little while. Okay, so we do want to make sure people know, Victorian yep. Santa, the second and okay. the third, that's a Saturday and a Sunday, okay. and information's on the website. Uh, and he, you know, what's fun is the parents can get in. Yeah. Last year, somebody announced that they were gonna have a, a baby, <gasps> and oh, the yeah, grandparents I, were there. I remember this. They're bringing the baby back. They've already called us and said, now we're gonna do it with the whole family. I'm, so it's a tradition yeah. that we want people to do. The kids get cocoa, yeah. and they get to do crafts, yeah. and, it's a really fun day. A great time at Kearney Mansion is the holiday season. Yeah. You also, in your newsletter, you talk about the FCHS uh, guided tour program. Yes. So one of the things that we love about Kearney Mansion is that you can take a tour. Mm -hmm. There's always a new exhibit in the uh, in the, the gallery. Oh, okay. We just did one that we just put up now. It's of holiday gotchucks. Oh, that's right. That's yeah, right. very nostalgic. Yes. And the gotchucks... Um, actual memorabilia and the green bags. Everybody will yeah. remember the green bags. That's open now and by the second, we hope to open the third floor. Oh. Oh, with a brand new exhibit talking about 
what happened after Mr. Kearney died yeah. on Fruitvale Estate. Yes. Because it was open until 1949. Okay, very interesting story. No one knows that. I, I can't believe that I know kids who don't know what gotcha. I know. What gotcha I know, is. they it's don't. So, it's so funny. But um, you, you had some recent events, the Time Traveler yes. event. How did that go? It was exciting. The kids got to come out and make butter. Yeah. They were, you know, they got to try all kinds of things like blacksmithing and a lot of them dressed up. Our staff was dressed up. They got to meet M. Theo Kearney. It was a whole week of fun. We had over 4,000 students. Oh my goodness. I know. And a then on people. Saturday, we had the public and through the mansion, we had over 400 visitors. Oh my goodness. It was great. That is great. Yeah. Okay, so in the rest of the grapevine, uh, you shared some pictures from the archives. These are always my favorite. What yes. did you share from the archive this month? What did we share from the archive this month? Oh yeah. We're looking at some things that, you know, we're just talking about why the archive is important okay. and how interesting it is to get in there now that we're going to be able to oh, see. Now there's the Godchuck sad. God That's in the ad. archive. And these are all out for people to see. And you will be surprised at what Something's was important. 50, something was 50 cents in that gosh, in that Godchuck I know. Ad. I know. <laughs> Lots of things were 50 yeah. cents. And then uh, we are having our next exhibit that starts in January uh -huh. is our Chinese, bringing out the Chinese archive. Oh, okay. We're working with the Benevolent Association to make sure that is going to be yeah. outstanding. Yes, I actually just saw somebody write about uh, Fresno's um, Chinatown. Yes, and that a lot of people don't even know the history about it. Don't know, don't know, you know, where it is or or how we can see it or how we can learn about that part That's of Fresno's right. history. That that one's going to be a fun one. Uh, how about Roots of the Valley this this month? Well, we decided that it would be important that people got to learn a little bit about. Our oh, own there we new go. building. Oh, so yeah, there we go. There it is. There's a picture of it in 1926. Okay. And today, and it basically looks the same. We're not going to change uh, the, the front at uh -huh. all, but there'll be great stuff inside. You're going to be able to go into a research room. Yes. You, it's kind of going to be. That's going to be really cool. A combo between a Library of Congress yeah. and. I don't know, the Smithsonian. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, we're, we are the, you know, the biggest stop between we Sacramento are. and Los Angeles, and so we should have a museum type place where yes. we can show off our history. Well, I, uh, I'm excited for the holiday season at Kearney Mansion. I'm excited for, for this building to, Me too. to visit once again with all the exhibits in there. We'll have all the information. If you want to sign up for the grapevine, we'll have that on, well, online as well. Elizabeth, thank you so much. Thank you, and I'll see you next month. Yes, and don't change that channel. The Fresno County Department of Behavioral Health shares the inspiration. Inspiring stories from this year's Focus Forward magazine, that's next.